What a fabulous week of racing this is going to be. It's Doncaster. It's the St Ledger Festival, including St Ledger Day and the big one on Saturday 16th. But there's also a couple of other good days as well, including Friday, Doncaster Cup Day. I'll be taking a look at that one as well. Really, really excited about this race. This race goes back hundreds of years. It's the fifth and final classic of the year, the St Ledger. And let's take a look at that race on Saturday, the St Ledger feature race of the week. As always, the fifth and final classic of the British horse racing season. It's the St Ledger. Really looking forward to this one. Just over one mile and six. One mile six, 115 yards. Gregory heads the field. Currently on five to two. Then you've got Continuous in there. Seven to two, Desert Hero. Four to one. But this one we're picking out first. We're going for Chess Beast. One at a bit of a price here. Ten to one. Fancy Chess Beast at the frame. Especially if you can get four places here. Really good run last time out at Goodwood, finishing second of six. Uh, that was over a slightly shorter distance, but I certainly feel that Chesapeake has the ability. Finished uh, third over this distance at Royal Ascot back in June. Running on really well there. Uh, that was the race that was run by Gregory. Gregory had the running of the race that day. So whilst Chesapeake did finish behind Gregory that day, I do think he can certainly get a little bit closer at this time. Good first uh, Hamilton back in July. So form is good for this horse. I uh, do fancy him to improve further. I really feel he has the ability, owned by Godolphin, trained by the Crisfords. Fancy this one to outrun those odds of 10 to 1. Right, that's chess piece. Now let's have a look at uh, one further selection. So before we look at our next St. Ledger selection, Frankie DeTorre's got a message he's saying, please subscribe. Cheers, Frankie. So we're going with Desert Hero, the King's Horse here, currently third in the market, four to one, really fancy Desert Hero to run really well here on Saturday. Won his last start at the Glorious Goodwood Festival, that was over just under one mile four. Similar distance at Ascot went first back in June, and that June race, I mean, he had a terrible passage through. Had to try all kinds of different paths and just came through at the end to win with Tom Marquand on board. It was an excellent ride given all the traffic issues he had that day. Still got the job done, that's why I think this horse can get better and better. Slightly further distance than what he's used to, but I don't think that'll be an issue. He seems to coast along and looks like he's always got some left in the tank. Uh, trained by William Haggis, also owned by the King. I fancy this horse to have a really good run of things on Saturday in the ledger. And I think he should be there or thereabouts. Certainly if he drifts to five to one, uh, I'd like him to hit the frame. So we'll back him at each way if he drifts to five to one. We'll probably just go for the straight win at his current price of four to one. But he could well shorten. Uh, we will see. Depends on how people consider Gregory and continuous his chances those are the top two currently in the market right now we're going to look at a couple of other races on Friday including the Doncaster Cup so Doncaster Cup is on Friday it's three o'clock it's a huge race this one love this race you're always going to see some horses that have run over the jumps for a distance like this it's just short of two miles and two and Coltrane heads the market in this race. You've also got the likes of Trushan, Sweet William, who ran pretty well at the Ebor. You've got Broom in there, but I like Shan Rowe here, 16 to 1. A horse that's been around for quite some time. He has won his last start out at Chester. That was a good race as well, over just short of. A couple of miles, Jason Hart on board that day, also won over in Galway in the summer, back in August at the festival there. Pretty short price that day, unseated earlier in the year, it was 15th to 16th, back on, the, on his first start of the year. So he is a bit quirky, this horse, at times. Uh, I think that's the one uh, drawback to him, but I think at a price of 16 to 1, certainly can hit the frame at that price, if not run on and go a bit better. 
it feels like it's going to be one of these races where you're going to either see Shanra right up there or probably towards the back. So that's reflected it in the price. I think it's a value punt this one, 16 to 1. And let's hope Shanra has a good run on the day. So next we move to the 335. It's the Mallard Handicap this on Friday. Fascinating race this one. Pretty wide open. One mile, six and a bit. This one, the goat. I like it, five to one. It's a short price. It's been backed in, in fact, quite a bit of money for this horse. Almost ten to one when this betting when the betting opens. There's been really some positive signs coming out of the stable train by Andrew Balding. This horse has had a bit of an indifferent time this year. Um, sixth last time out of thirteen mid division run that was at York. It is part of the Ebor Festival. Uh, before that won a Goodwood superb performance that day, winning with Jason Watson on board. But I think there are signs that this horse can certainly get better, and I think that's what's really attracting people into this horse, the positive signs of the stable, and I fancy this horse to go on and run really well in this handicap. I feel like he's off a good mark, and I think he will do the business. Certainly should fit, so should fit, should hit the frame. Uh, so that's the goat. I'll take a look at another one now at a much bigger price in this race. Okay then. So another one here. We're going for a huge, huge price here. Forty to one. This. It's a bay mare. Hasn't had a good twenty twenty three, but had an amazing twenty twenty one. It's wiki, wiki wheels. Forty to one. Fancy this one as an each way punt disastrous year uh, for her 20th last time out at York. Uh, that was uh, at the Ebor Festival. Uh, pretty indifferent runs. Showed a couple of decent signs, I guess, back in August at Newmarket 6 of 10, but generally really poor runs by Wiki Wiki Wheels this year. But there's certainly some ability there. Had an amazing year last year, winning four races back to back over the summer last year, and also had a good third at Goodwood and a couple of other good runs last year as well so this horse showed really good signs of progression last year and then it all seemed to stunt and go wrong this year all seemed to stop rather than go wrong but certainly feel there is some ability in there at a 40 to 1 you can get some extra places if he does turn it around that's a great great price it feels like this is going to be one of those races where either wiki wiki wheels is right in the back or she gives you good run for your money and she's right up there we will see who knows but uh, we go with wiki wiki wheels 40 to 1 so best of luck if you're getting on any of those selections let me know what you're getting on in particular for the ledger it's gonna be a great week at doncaster good luck all and catch you again soon